Troy here with ATD Racing. So here's uh, here's the update. Now we're uh, tackling this Motion Race Works lightweight steering column. So we talked about it a little bit in the last video uh, on their new setup. I got the Ford Racing six bolt wheel. Uh, I got their new uh, nice setup uh, or their revised one. So here's all the parts that's needed to install the Motion Race Works lightweight steering column with a 0304 Cobra or SN95 uh, Mustang. So I have a old Maximum Motorsports solid steering, um, steering shaft. Uh, awesome little piece, tightens up the steering a lot. But this guy is no longer used with the stock steering column. Uh, the Motion Raceworks setup, you, you have to buy, it's a, quit, it's a quite bit more than just getting the column in this piece as well. You need three different universal joints and you need one of these shafts. So pretty much how it goes is steering wheel to column, which mounts like that in there and then from the column this piece right here mounts to the firewall we'll show that <clears throat> excuse me you have a couple of universal joints that you need and i'll put all the part numbers for the stuff that you need you can get everything on motion here not that all this stuff can be had on motion except for this guy I end up getting this from Speedway Motors. That's the part number. It is the adapter for one end goes on this stash shaft and this uh, this piece right here replaces the Maximum Motorsports solid steering column. Uh, it goes in there, as you can see. And then the other end goes to the factory steering column. So if you don't have one of those lightweight uh, Flaming River style columns, the lightweight non-power assisted columns, you'll need this adapter to fit to fit uh, on the steering column. You're gonna watch me struggle put this dash in by myself. It's actually a lot lighter without all the wiring. Uh, I'd say that wiring weighs at least seven pounds plus the wiring with the relay module and all that crap. I still have to go back through the wiring and get the necessary, pull the necessary wires out of the harness for the heat slash or the climate control stuff. So heat and air and probably not the radio. I think I'm going to be done with that, uh, but I'll still need that. And then for the trunk release, I'm going to wire in the trunk release to that, uh, race wire solutions relay module nothing else will be used wire wise uh in the in the dash and i think i'll mount all the wires to inside the car that way if i need to pull the dash i don't really have to disconnect much just a couple of plugs from the the dash and uh and dash should be ready to pull it out so that's the big things uh yeah watch me uh struggle with this uh, dash by myself. All right. Okay, with this dash, you wanna make sure you have both doors open uh, because there's a lip on the dash that you need to uh, slide in. Make sure you have a, uh, a bolt ready. I like to use the bolt in the center of the dash just because it's easy uh, kind of to get to, so. Okay, so dash in, I got a few things set up. Next, it is time for the steering column itself. So remember, again, this piece goes in on the, through the firewall. So that uh, center bearing or steering shaft bearing uh, has to be removed. No big deal. Not enough bugga dugga. And that thing, let's see if we can get it. There we go on.
soon. And it should just come right out. There we go. And that is the bearing, I think. Yep. Not too bad. I replaced this some uh, time ago. I think there was a update to them. This is a heavier duty bearing from a three valve or something like that. I do believe you can probably Google that. Anyway, so this guy now should bolt right in there like such. And the first bolts have to come out. So we'll take that out. Let that sit there. Boom. One. And I'll try to see how skilled I am at doing it one-handed here. Should be easy though. Boom. Huh. There we go. Nice and easy. Same OEM bolts. Probably won't tighten it down too much. Let's see. So that is 13 millimeter bolts for the OEM ones here. Oh, barely. Enough ugga dug in this little guy. That's it. That little one. Anyway, that's it. So, booyah. All right, let's go see on the other side what it looks like. So now, you got to figure out the steering shaft arrangement. And we see what we got sticking out. So that we got sticking out. And I believe motion says something about like this collar right here. Can, the silver collar can come off just a couple of Allen head bolts that secure it. So I'd recommend before you're this, this, um, th this collar sets the amount at the shaft inside. Actually, no, it just keeps the shaft and the seal right here in. Uh, not sealed, but the uh, rubber bushing. So if you had to take off the rubber bushing, cut this guy any, uh, you take this silver uh, collar off and it just comes right off. And then you could take the shaft, push the shaft uh, forward to come out and then you could take your bushing off. Anyway, motion says something about having to cut this possibly and all that. So we'll, uh, we'll see on that here in a second. Okay, so I got the steering shaft in. I did have to go back and tighten down those two uh, bolts to the fire, or the two nuts to the firewall back there uh, just to stop the, the whole entire assembly or column from moving as I played around with installing it. So, uh, I, I guess I didn't think this through when I was talking earlier. Uh, you definitely don't need this one. Uh, I'm sorry, you need this one. You, you don't need a third U-joint, you only need two. So you obviously need the one that's gonna go straight to the steering column or shaft, the inner shaft. Uh, that's the circular one with the, uh, whatever shape that is uh, for the solid shaft here. So that guy has a hole that goes straight through. So you'll have to, once you get it mounted, you'll have to drill a hole through the inner shaft make sure you don't well, actually it has a stop in there which is nice because you can't over penetrate uh and stop play from the u-joint like that if you, you'll i'll show that here in a second but anyway you drill once you get it set you'll drill your hole all the way through uh wouldn't recommend welding that because if you weld the the u-joint to the shaft you will now well one i bet you it's a tighter tolerance so you risk warping this uh, more importantly is you'll never be able to take the inner shaft off um, and, and replace this um, uh, replaceable rubber or a bush bu um, plastic bushing um, if you weld the u-joint on to the inner shaft so drill a hole through put a bolt nut make sure it's tight uh, tight like a tiger, and that'll be good. And then from there, you put your shaft on, 
And then that's where you need the last U joint or your second U joint that goes to your steering rack. So remember Speedway Motorsports, if you have a stock heavy power assisted steering rack or OEM SN95 rack, because it'll have that fitting, which goes to the steering rack here. And then the other end goes to your solid shaft. And same thing, drill a hole, uh, or no, this one has a uh, little set screw, Allen head, Allen key set screw with a lock nut. And once you get it on, this one can go, can over penetrate. And I'll show you that here in a second. So uh, you see that one can go too far in. So you don't want to do that because then you lose your mobility or of your U-joint. So you make sure you get that on there and then go ahead and just lock it on. This is easy. This one you could weld if you wanted it uh, because it doesn't need to come back off. So you could technically just tack that guy up right there for a little extra security. All right, and that's actually what Motion, uh, I'm sorry, Maximum Motorsports do, does. Uh, they tack on their U-joints uh, to the shaft. Uh, one thing about this, this motion one, so uh, I don't know if it's like a SFI thing or, or really just crassworthy. This is a solid shaft. There's no give in this. If you get in a front end collision, it's coming through your chest. Uh, unlike some of the nicer, uh, way more expensive units, the Maximum Motorsports, this guy is collapsible in two spots. So one here where my thumb is and the other one is right here where my thumb is again. No, I'm sorry. Right. Let's see. Right there. Yeah. See, anyway. So if you get an accident, this guy will collapse some uh, instead of collapsing in your chest. Uh, the, the Motion Race Works one, it is all race. Uh, it, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not collapsing. So uh, just, just something to note. So I, I don't know if they sell other shafts like this that could be collapsible, kind of like how this guy is. I bet you they do. Uh I just don't know of it because I'm new. So take that for what it's worth. That's a consideration. So what you didn't have to do, they give you plenty of this shaft. Once you get it fit, you then cut this piece right here to length. Uh, just straight cut, clean it up, and then you're done. I am not going to do that today. I just wanted to talk about it because I'm going to wait till I get my motor in, everything set. My K member is uh, squared in the body. Uh, I will do all that stuff prior to cutting that shaft. Uh, so I don't have to buy another one. I forget how much they are from motion, but I don't want to cut it right now. So other way, yeah, either way, it's super easy. Not a big deal. I think it's really cool. And then you have a full motion race works steering column lightweight steering column setup so uh looking at this motion also sells an adapter um it's an adapter that goes that extends the the quick disconnect from the steering wheel maybe another 10 inches i believe or something like that the point is it, it won't they give you the option to have the steering wheel closer to your body i think i may need to get that because just looking at this this is like six inches or so steering wheel from the dash i think it's closer obviously nothing is adjustable in here they're real what it what i really have to do is come put the my kirky seat in it does have some adjustment in it uh, via the bolt holes but i have to put that in here see how far i am from the pedals then steering wheel make sure i have a good slight bend of the arms uh, or, or just comfortable to you or me in this case and I, i'll judge from there but I think I'm, I'm going to need that adapter. I've seen other folks uh, think Cletus has that adapter in one of his cars. So maybe I get that and I suspect it'll push it like this far out, which would be way better. So another thing that I uh, on that same note, my um, race wire solutions blinker assembly that I plan on mounting right here, if I don't, space it out because this guy almost it needs to go let's see if you can see that it needs to go almost all the way up to the collar because if not it just doesn't clear right doesn't look good can't really go up like that because that's weird it could go down a little bit if i wanted it but you know i'd like it in a factory position kind of like that uh but it's so close to the dash 
so close to the dash that vent no longer works because the cage bar goes uh, had to cut the feed to it but anyway that has it too close to the steering wheel itself and i can imagine turning pushing the horn turning on lights and all that jazz looking like a rookie uh driving around and can't have that so i think i can deal with it being close to the dash with the wiring like that but not to the steering wheel the only way to fix that is to push the steering wheel out with the spacer. Or I could just not use this really nice billet mount, really, and put it in the dash where the OEM headlight piece goes. This little guy clips right out, and uh, it can pop into here. So maybe I do that. I'll figure that out later down the line. That's that's uh, tomorrow me's problems. So I'll figure that out. Um, but I like it, man. I really like the full racing steering wheel. I really like the lightweight motion race works. It's smooth. Uh, feels pretty solid, and I don't even have it fully bolted in, but I think it's a nice little unit. And uh, check that out, man. So that's it. That's, where, uh, that's what you're working with. So recap, you don't need the spline one. Um, I got a 26, 916-26 spline. Uh, and that's going to be for your aftermarket lightweight steering uh, racks, kind of like maybe the Flaming River rack or, or, or another unit. So you only need that. And I'd be curious to how much all the weight it actually saves after you add two U-joints. This whatever piece that I end up having to use from that, I bet you it's probably close to 10, 15 pounds after it's all said and done, maybe 10, 12 pounds. But anyway, that's it. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, checking me out. And hopefully you found this helpful in your installation of a Motion Raceworks lightweight steering wheel. And you now know that you need Speedway universal joint if you're running a standard column. There's the part number again, 910-50919. All right, hey, thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. Thank you.